This is my Curtis 1231C8601 DC motor controller. It's a pulse width modulation motor controller rated at about 500 amps, 96 to 144 volts. You hook some heavy duty current wire up to there into your battery and it has a throttle control off here. It has failed in my truck so I've replaced it with a used replacement but I'm going to take it apart and see what I can see. First, I had to clean off the thermal grease that was all over the bottom of the unit. As this is an air-cooled unit, I have a fan blowing across an aluminum plate that it sits on. The main internal heatsink is held in place with eight screws that are hidden under these rubber plugs. There are two plugs per hole. After I unscrewed the screws, I had to remove the plastic bushings that electrically isolate the screws from the case. I found that a spring grabber tool worked well for this. Inside each hole, you'll find a screw, the plastic bushing, and two rubber plugs. I had to officially void the warranty and cut through the hard rubber potting bit compound. This took me about 10 minutes of work. The rubber potting compound is about a quarter inch thick, and it has a thin piece of foam behind it. After you cut all the way around and loosen it, you can pull out the inner heat sink and electrical components. Inside, there is a small logic board that I unsoldered. Here you can see a trace that was vaporized when high voltage got where it shouldn't have from the arcing. There's also a lot of carbon soot from where two MOSFETs had vaporized. It had been connected to this larger power board. I'm pointing to where I've removed two MOSFETs that had vaporized. There was also damage to the PCB in at least one of the passive components. Amazingly, there are two diodes here where the silver metal cases have been partially melted away by electrical arcing, but the diodes still appear to be working. My plan is to replace all of the MOSFETs, diodes, and capacitors on this board with upgraded components.